The planet Earth is made up of four layers, inner core, outer core, mantle and the crust. When studying earthquakes, our main focus are the crust and upper mantle. The Earth's crust and upper mantle are broken up into 15 major tectonic plates. Where these plates meet, the Earth's crust becomes unstable and earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. Earthquakes occur when tension is released from inside the crust. Tectonic plates do not always move smoothly alongside each other and sometimes get stuck. When this happens, pressure builds up. When this pressure is eventually released, an earthquake tends to occur. The point inside the crust where the pressure is released is called the focus. The point in the Earth's surface above the focus is called the epicenter. Earthquake energy is released in seismic waves. These waves spread out from the focus. The waves are felt most strongly at the epicenter, becoming less strong as they travel further away. The most severe damage caused by an earthquake will happen close to the epicenter. On September the 4th, 2010, Christchurch, <laughs> Christchurch, New Zealand. John, I must worry. All right. Christchurch, New Zealand was hit by an earthquake <laughs> measuring 7.1 on the Richter scale. John. The strength or magnitude of an earthquake is measured using... <laughs> using the Richter scale. The Richter scale is numbered 0 to 10. The epicentre was 40 kilometres away from Christchurch and had a shallow focus of 10 kilometres. This earthquake lasted 40 seconds, however sometimes they can last minutes and others a few seconds. Luckily, this earthquake only caused some structural damage and only two people were injured. In less economically developed countries, LEDCs, such as Haiti, the damage is much more worse as there is a lack of infrastructure and furniture. SUV? And, <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, facilities. Fatalities. <laughs> Fatalities. Well, much greater than that of Christchurch. <laughs> there are many impacts of an earthquake, some short term and some long term. People may be killed or injured, homes may be destroyed, transport and communication links may be disrupted, water pipes may burst, and water supplies may be contaminated. Shops and businesses may be, may be destroyed. Looting may take place. The damage to the transport and communication links may, can make... Di Trade difficult! <laughs> <laughs> the built landscape may be destroyed. Fires can spread due to gas pipe explosions. Fires can damage areas of woodland. Landslides may occur. <laughs> Tsunamis may cause flooding in coastal areas. <laughs> Some long-term impacts. <laughs> Disease may spread. People may have to be rehoused sometimes in refugee camps. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the cost of rebuilding a settlement. The cost. The cost of the rebuilding. Cool. Cool. The cool. <laughs> the cost of rebuilding a settlement is high. Investment in the area may be focused only on repairing the damage caused Johnny by the earthquake. Income could be lost. Important natural and human landmarks may be lost. The most famous earthquakes from the past decide from the past decade include Japan 2011, Christchurch 2010 and 11, Haiti 2009. These are always useful case studies to involve in your exam answers. Ensure you know at least two case studies, preferably one from an LDC and one from an enemy DC for a comparison. Thanks guys, it's been a blast. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe for more ridiculously riveting revision podcasts that students are raving about. And please me thank our producer, George Timms, because he had to step in a few times in this video. Thank you and good night. No, Johnny. <laughs> no, Johnny.